Okay, so now they running down. Now they got look all black on. You see what I'm saying? All black hoodies on. They didn't want him to see them hopping out, so they pulled up a little bit, hopped out quick as two and five. As soon as they hopped out, they fired. You feel me? As soon as they hopped out, they fired. And that's Duck right there. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's Duck right there. Um, they did him like that. And the girl, his girlfriend was in the car right there. They pulled right back up to O Block, bro. Look, the police right there. On phone them. Pulled right up, parked, hopped out, and tried to play. Ha <laughs> ha, that is the police. It tried to play it cool. Why the 12 pull up like that, though? These exotic boys, smoke exotic out. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic locks. Tied to pull up real fast, uh, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guap. Moolah gang, what y'all on? It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah. Mac, I'm back with another video. They just dropped the unreleased footage of the day. Unfortunately, FBG Duck got killed, man. On phone them. Now, I heard this was, you know what I'm saying, circulating around the internet. I ain't seen it yet. You feel me? So, I do want to, you know what I'm saying, first first of all, pay my respects to FBG Duck. Rest in peace to him, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see no young nigga lose their life like that on phone of Gray. It's never a good sight. On bro Gray, we finna, we finna dive into it. We finna dissect it. On bro Gray, y'all like the big college word? Dissect. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, hold on, we're gonna dissect it right now. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the rest of my channels. The links are in the description. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on the gram. Shop my clothing line, man. We finna get right into it. Ski! Let's get it, man. We're gonna start them up out. Okay, so regular old day in the O. Parkway Gardens so on for the gray. 64 34. In the on the block. Got a drop on this flex, nigga. He from Tennessee, just got drop. Was through the clip, but don't play with me. This bitch, Now they at the store. <laughs> no cap. This just regular schmegler, though. This must have been when they got that call on Funnel Gray. Somebody, did they call or text them? He just hopped out. I think they conversating. Did, did, he just, did he just come with the news, though? Did he just come with that news? I think he just came with that news. Look how he talking, folks. He talking aggressive as hell, folks. That's the same car right here. Same car. I don't know, like, who is who, though. I'm assuming these group of niggas over here is finna be the niggas that came. And I don't know why they would do that either. Like, Parkway got all type of cameras everywhere, like. Especially now, it's more cameras now than it used to be. Hold on, y'all, before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I gotta tell y'all about the Moolah membership. The Moolah membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all, and I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm gonna give you instructional videos, step by step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily. For you to understand these different categories. We're talking about business, financial literacy, credit, crypto, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about drop shipping, we're talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. $50 a month, you're going to get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're going to get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock 24-7 to make sure you have the best stock and crypto call-outs. That means all you got to do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make some of the all this bread. Very simple, very easy on Broke Gray. Stop waiting, stop procrastinating, click the first link in the description right now, especially if you want to be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you want to put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, because we only got 2,000 spots, and I would hate to see you be missed out. Skate. Okay, so this ain't the car then, because they pulled off already. Okay, so this say approximately 21 minutes later. 21, I see a nigga running. I see one nigga running. I only see one nigga running, though. He ran up the stairs right here, I think. Yeah, he going up these stairs. Is that Muwap? 6422. 
Okay, there go another nigga right behind him. I don't know who that is. I'm saying, God damn, y'all niggas couldn't have touch your, touch your head or something? Put a, a t-shirt over your face or something? Y'all just... Like, why? I, I don't understand. They walk, did they walk up to tell some niggas? That's why I'm trying to figure out, like, what's going on right now. Because two niggas show just ran up. At least folks got, it looked like he got a mask on. No, he ain't got no more mask on. He's got a bald head. Or am I tweaking? I can't tell. Okay, so now they running down. Now they got, look, all black on. You see what I'm saying? All black. Hoodies on. You feel me? Hoodies on. All black. Stepping clothes. Now, all black. All black. Hat. Hood. Okay, he ain't get the memo because he, <laughs> he still got Tim's on. You can't slide in no motherfucking Tim's, man. Where you going to run? And it's the summertime. They ran to the, okay, they, so they left and ran to this car. Right here, hopped in this car. I just seen folks in all black hop in this car. Somebody else hop on the other side. Close the door. And they got up out of there. Look, they yanking. They running red lights. They hitting. All they got to do is get on LSD too. On front of gray. Up, oh, there they got, there they go right there. They got them right there. They got them right there. They got that motherfucking. Oh, it's two cars? Oh, it was two cars. So they got the Chrysler. It's a Chrysler and a Chevy. They on LSD. Now look, LSD, look. Lakeshore, let me explain to y'all motherfuckers that ain't from Chicago. Lakeshore Drive. You can take Lakeshore Drive from the east side all the way up north. You hear me? Like, you can go from South Shore Drive, which is the same shit. You can take Lakeshore Drive all the way up north to the white folks. You get what I'm saying? So you can go from Lakeshore. You can go from the hood. You get off on 47, 35th. I think, what the hell else? Uh, 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 53rd. Got all that. Shit. You can get off a lot of blocks. You get what I'm saying? So you can pretty much go from past High Park to the hood. You get what I'm saying? To the, to the like, trenches. All the way to the nicest parts of Chicago up north. You get what I'm saying? On one, one, one freeway. One little highway type shit. So that's them right there. So when I guess they got that's them too. This them two cars. So they got that car that duck was outside was you and they know exactly where to go. It ain't hard. Like if you from the city, you take one freeway, you go all the way straight, get off on probably what? They right here off the bridge, just just cross the bridge right here. I know exactly where they at. Traveling northbound on phone now. And did this the exit that's popping right here. Now, honestly, if that they, they probably yep, I'm gonna say they probably got off right here. You bust that left, you go straight, bust a right, you drive drive like probably five blocks, four, five blocks in Oak Street right there. You get what I'm saying? Like it ain't it ain't no long, super long drive. Like they probably got there in 15 minutes, you hear me? They using turn signals and shit. <laughs> they using they using their body by the laws and shit. They funny as so they finna, like I said, they finna bust that left. They probably finna keep straight until they get to uh, Michigan. Bust a right. Right here on Chicago Ave on Pono Gray. A museum like a little over here or something. Well, it used to be a museum a little over here. Hotels and shit over here. The Cheesecake Factory down here. Shit, this way it's popping at. Like, it's juking. Benny Hunter down there, all that. You see the white folks, this is downtown, gang. White folks running. When you see white folks running, you know you at somewhere where you're not supposed to be shooting my f***s. So I don't know why y'all thought this was a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't no professional, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, if that was me, I would have went out there, caught him, seen him, like, stayed in the cut, followed him, type f***, and did something anywhere else but there. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So now they orchestrated right behind each other and shit. You feel me? Tinted out windows, all that. But what I say, right on Michigan, and then they bust that left on Oak Street. Now, my, the question that I have about on Duck's side is why are you standing right here? Because I think this Duck right here or somewhere, like, why are you standing right there? But it's some type of story where, like, they said they were saying, like, he tried to go 
in the back of the store and they weren't trying to let him go through the back of the store and he tried to say like somebody trying to kill me they weren't really they got scared they weren't really with him and i think they like kicked him out the store type shit. so that's why he's sitting here but nigga i would have ran on my dead homie i would have just ran i would have took off i would just took off i as soon as i seen a little something little what man i would have ran throw that lady bike all type of shit. <laughs> Oh, bro, there. Okay, so this the cops right here. Yup. They pulled up, stopped. They probably seen him right there. And they like, yep. And they didn't want, they didn't want him, they didn't want, they didn't want him to see them hopping out. So they pulled up a little bit, hopped out quick as two and five. As soon as they hopped out, they fired. You feel me? As soon as they hopped out, they fired. And that's Duck right there. I'm pretty sure, yep, that's Duck right there. Because it's a video of him bleeding out right here in the street. And the police ain't doing nothing to help. You get what I'm saying? On Bro Grave. That's Duck right there. And I think whoever he was with got hit up too, I'm pretty sure. Because he with like two people right here. He ducked quick. Somebody fell. He got up. He rolled. Fell again. And they, yeah. It, it, yeah. Um, they did him like that. And the girl, his girlfriend was in the car right there. His girlfriend was in the car right there. I don't know why he was standing outside of the store like that, though, bro. And they look, they wetting up. They wetting up, like, they wet him up and stood over him. Like, three niggas stood over him and put, like, four into him. He probably, it wasn't, it wasn't even destined for him. To, that was going to be hard for him to make it, gang. I ain't going to lie. Look, everybody scattered. White people scattering. Look. And, like, I want to let really get y'all to understand it's a, I don't, I can't, I ain't been there in a minute, but it's either Richard Mille or AP store on this block, gang. All the way on the end of the block is Barney's, nigga. I used to trap all day just to go to Barney's. I used to love going to Barney's, nigga. <laughs> Barney's used to be right on the block before they closed down, right on the end of this block. It's f***ing Pancake House over here. Uh, uh, Christian Louboutin, YSL, D or this is the Rodeo Drive of Chicago, gang. Like, I didn't even know this block existed until I was like 16. I never even went this far down Michigan as a young nigga. I'm going down there, can't afford shit over there. You hear me? I, I worked first time I went on this block. I walked in Louboutin store. I said, oh, these the red bottoms they be talking about. I seen that shit, my had no price on it. I said, oh, yeah, it's time for me to go. <laughs> it's time to go. Skedaddle. I'm all right. I can't afford this shit. Ain't got no price on it. Uh, yeah, it's time to go. Real shit. So the whole thing I'm saying is I don't understand why and I know Duck was Duck, and he probably was the biggest GD ever. You get what I'm saying? I know he was, you know what I'm saying, definitely the the leader of the, you know what I'm saying, uh, anybody, all the GDs, Brick Squad, STL, Wiggle World, uh, f***ing all of them. You know what I'm saying? He was like the leader. He had signed a million dollar deal. He had slide. Like, it was turfed up for him at that time. And I know it was like... They had been beefing for so long since high school and all that. Shit. So he was like a wanted target. You get what I'm saying? But and I and the street shit is one thing, gang. But I just don't understand why they did that shit on this street. They could have did this shit on any other block in Chicago, and I promise you, the feds probably wouldn't have picked it up. I promise. They could did this. Shit. They could have caught that nigga on STL. They could have caught that nigga on Lakeshore Drive. They could have caught that nigga coming back to the hood. They could have caught that nigga three blocks over. And on my dead homie, first of all, they wouldn't have had all these cameras. And second of all, I promise you the feds probably, they probably would have got away with it. The whole city would have knew who did it and they probably would have got away with it because it wouldn't have been as much evidence. You get what I'm saying? The feds wouldn't have even picked it up because it wasn't a lot of evidence. And if they did get arrested, they probably would have got off. Just, just keeping in the book. Just keeping it in 150 Dream Team off of the grade. <laughs> like, I don't know why they did that shit, but uh, they did it the worst way. So you see the little restaurants over here, little cabanas and shit. They got up and you don't skirt it off. You don't skirt it off. And then they finna, they finna, then I think that's the story is they drove all the way back to the hood from there. Like, you get what I'm saying, though? Like, if you're going to do a hit game, you got to be in. Now they look, they running red lights. They gone. Yeah. Yeah. They running red lights. They up out of there. But I'm just saying, like, if you're going to do like this game, you got to have an orchestrated. Like, this ain't a TV show, bro. 
you got to have orchestrated hits. Like, you can't just pull up on niggas on a busy shopping day, blick niggas down and skirt off and think ain't nobody going to see you like a something. Like, you get what I'm saying? Because they running all type of red lights. They yawning. But it's, like I'm saying, it's no type of orchestration at all. Like, not even a little bit, gang. Like, these niggas is like, they just hopped up, went outside, took off, killed the nigga, and came back home. Like, what the fuck? They ain't do nothing that. What, what, what do y'all got going on? And it's just them getting back. I want to see if they got back to, they went right back to the hood. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Bro, they pulled right back up to O Block, bro. Look, the police right there. Is that the police? Is that 12? It looked like 12. That's the that's the Chrysler. On phone now. Pulled right up, parked, hopped out. And tried to play. Ha <laughs> ha, that is the police. It's trying to play it cool. Why the 12 pull up like that, though? They disperse. As soon as 12 pulled up, they dispersed. I wonder why 12 pulled up like that, though. Because they see them driving fast or something. 12 got to fuck out of there. That's too many of them niggas. <laughs> For the grave, too many of them niggas. You hear me? And that, that's supposed to be them right there. Them, uh, is that three of them right there? They post Oh, no. they they Okay, so they got out the car. Ran. And now they running back somewhere. They running to some building. I'm just saying, it wasn't no planning. Like, gang, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gotta, like, put that shit. If you wanna do some shit like that and not get caught, bro, with all these cameras and all this evidence and shit, you gotta orchestrate that shit, gang. Like, you can't just... It's like these niggas just pulled up, did that shit, and came back home, like... Y'all ain't burn a car, motherfucker. Like, bro, they put, bro. Do you, bro, they killed a nigga in a car. Got back in the same car and pulled up to their house. They didn't pull up down the street. They didn't pull up, like, they pulled up to their crib, gang. And then just walking around. Like, and, and I can tell you what's going on right now. They heart still beating. They heart still beating. They fucked up in the head. They like, did we kill him? Did we not kill him? I hope he killed him, but I just killed somebody. Oh, shit. like oh, like that 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 dark cloud way heavy, gang. When you do something bad, even if it's small, even if you fucking robbing somebody or and that ain't really small, but if you robbing somebody or stealing something from the store, like you gonna catch a little that little dark cloud gonna be heavy on you, gang. And I know I've been in situations where nigga go do what they go do and come. And I'm the first nigga they tell, like, hey, boy, why I just, what you call it, woody, 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 caught that nigga, woody, 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 and, you, and I'm, what, never. I've been in situations like that, and it's the dark energy that be around them after they do some shit like that, bro. They be fucked up. I seen niggas hit the floor crying. You feel me? I seen, that's the day niggas popping all the pills, smoking all the loud, drinking all the lean. They trying to forget about that shit, gang. You feel me? I just don't understand. Why the fuck would you come home? Like, I'm not getting over that part. Like, y'all came home with the same clothes on. Like, my fuck ain't, my fuck ain't have a change of clothes. Did y'all have bleach in the car? Like, you know what I'm saying? Did, like, 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 yeah, bro. Y'all ain't burn the clothes. Y'all ain't get rid of the pipes. Y'all ain't do nothing. Like, y'all ain't even get, like, it's bad, gang. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't looking good right now, fool. Y'all ain't do nothing to, like, cover nothing up. It's like y'all just was so thirsty to go get that nigga. You damn it told on yourself, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. You damn it told on yourself, bro. On act, like, on purpose, on accident. Like, like, do you know what type? Like, think about that for a second. In any movie, any TV show you ever seen, has any nigga left his house... Knowing he was finna kill somebody, right? Get in the car, go do what he gonna do, lay somebody down, get back in the same car, and pull up back at home? 
Have you ever seen that shit on a movie? I haven't. I be seeing niggas all type of burn your clothes, jump, drop, this, do that, go over here, don't go home, stay over here, act regular, walk all the way over here, leave the car, burn the car, put it in the ocean, take the gun, burn it, like all type, like I be seeing shit like that. I don't see shit like what my just leave like that. Is, that's crazy. That's crazy. But like I said, though, man, rest in peace to Duck. I'm pretty sure they already got found guilty. I think they just waited for their sentence, and now them niggas ain't getting out. Them niggas ain't getting out. They got everything from start to finish. Them niggas is not getting out, bro. I don't know how they identify who was who, but I promise you they ain't getting out of that motherfucking jail, boy. They going to do 40-50 in the feds. The driver gonna do 20. You hear me? He ain't even probably ain't even shooting no body. He gonna do 15, 20. You feel me? Even if you snitch in the feds, you don't do You gonna do some time, gang. Like, so, like I said, rest in peace, duck, bro. I ain't a hey, rest in peace to anybody that lose their life. But I ain't gonna lie, gang. Like, on, 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 on the guys, bro. Like, this was, this was a crash out. This was a hard crash out right here. And I think that didn't Vaughn die three months later or some shit like that. I don't know. Rest in peace. Just I read it. Fuck. I don't even know what to say for real. Like, God. Stop the violence.